Speed to Insights is vital to addressing supply chain distribution. By joining the latest data about COVID-19 with their supply chain data, producers, vendors, and the logistics and distribution companies in between can make the real-time adjustments required to keep their supply chains resilient. In this demo, we are a supply chain analyst for a global apparel company looking ahead to jacket season. Given the global volatility and uncertainty, we want to ensure that our supply chain will support the production and distribution of our jackets. Such supply chain analytics traditionally required hours or days for data prep and analysis, but can be performed in minutes with ThoughtSpot. We have created a connection to our Snowflake database with ThoughtSpot Embrace, so we have access to the latest data as it's loaded into Snowflake. Embrace for Snowflake enables us to run search and AI-driven analytics directly against the most up-to-date data in our Snowflake databases for real-time insights without any data movement or the need for data modeling, typically required by traditional analytics tools. Here we have a pin board where we've collected a variety of metrics and insights about our supply chain last year. We filtered this to jackets, and we can see that China and the United States accounted for about two-thirds of the jackets we ordered last year. Especially during the pandemic, we want to diversify where we get supplies. Let's start with a quick search to see which countries we're forecasting deliveries from this year. It looks like China and the U.S. continue to dominate under our current plan. Unfortunately, these two countries have been the hardest hit by COVID-19 amongst our suppliers. Let's look for some alternative suppliers to create resiliency against the potential shock we may feel in these markets. We can start by seeing which countries have been less hard hit with a simple edit to our search. We can mitigate some of the risk in our supply chain by relying on alternative suppliers across multiple regions. El Salvador is in Central America and they're already a strong supplier. So perhaps we could ramp up here to handle demand that China and the U.S. may be unable to meet. But before we commit to that plan of action, let's learn more about the situation on the ground. With a quick search, we can also confirm that there are very few cases of the virus in El Salvador yet. And the lumpy forecast indicates that our suppliers there are not consistently at capacity. Our greatest forecasted delivery of jackets from El Salvador is in September. Let's drill down into this month to see which suppliers we expect to be working with. Now it's time to get on the phone to discuss these suppliers' capacities. In a very short time, we've been able to use search and AI to get immediate, granular insights into how our supply chain takes shape around the world, where the chain might be at risk, and actions we can take to build resilience for future shocks.